Oh, uh, my morning's full of bad news. Hold on. Whoa! Back you come. Just trying to fight with Jock at the same time, sorry. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep's the game. We're off to a bad start this morning. We've had a phone call. We've had a you aborted. Let's go and see what's happening. Okay, it's, it's going to be a first test for spot here. Um, there's a handy, yeah, there's a pun of mince here. She is a triplet. And these are, this is the, there's this bit and another bit where we haven't taken the triplets home to feed them. So this could just be us getting our just, just desserts for not having them home getting fed, potentially. But then if something's going to throw a lamb it's, it's a, at the start, it's usually a triplet. So you can overthink these things, I think. Oh, I'll just, I don't want them mixing. So a wee test of spot. This is my first one-on-one -on -one session-ish with spot. Oh, why are they hitting that fence so hard? Stand! That's fine if we keep them separate from the main batch. This gate's far too high. Uh, where's the best bit to corner this sheep? Probably in here, but they'll go straight under that. I think that's through, Cammy. Let's try and lift this off, I think. Imagine a sheep farmer at lambing time not having a knife on him because it's in my pickup. Spot hasn't moved since I told him to stand. It's beautiful. And now he's came back. The main thing is he didn't go chasing the sheep when I wasn't watching. What I should actually do is bring the bike up the top here and load her from here because I'm terrified I'm making a mess of that field down there. I think if I bring the bike up here Nah, easier to load from the bottom, isn't it? Right, that's that down low. It's quite ropey at the bottom, they might have a run at it. Can I turn it round? Not really. They're big use though, they're in lamb, they shouldn't be too wild. If I can keep the dog right, lie down. Right, let's just pop them in here, then we'll weech her out. Weech might be a Scottish word as well. You're always going to get the problems at the start, so it's whether you start overthinking this and worrying about further problems. Certainly I start thinking to myself, triplets, should she be getting fed? I, you know, there is, I know it's wet, but there's a huge scope here. I mean, there's only 30 sheep here. A huge scope here and loads of grass. When we uh, last had a hand on them at scanning time, they were in huge fettle. Where my phone's going? Ah, uh, my morning's full of bad news. It's, it's endless. You had, you had bad news already, son? I've had gin bought it this morning. I'm just trying to catch it the new eye. Oh, the drama. It's all going wrong this morning. Early spot, good dog. Hello. I mean, another factor, it was a shocking bad night last night. Like, blowing a gale, lashing rain. It's still fairly mild though, I mean, it shouldn't bother these shoes. But if they're at that point of pregnancy, maybe they'll be needing a little feed. It's something to factor in. Right, we only have two now to corner, so hopefully it'll be a bit easier, but they're not keen to run away from that fence because they want to get to their pals. Oh, right, let's try quietly spot. Let's run them along the fence line spot, so let's go away. Oh Christ, they're jumping that fence. You see how fit they are though? Like, st I mean look how fit she is, she's wild. Stand! Stand! I mean I would say she's a smaller, small youth for a triplet. She has a bag of milk there. Oh steady girl, jeez they're wild. Spot's just eager enough. Maybe a job for Meg this. Stand! You need to get them used to lambing though. Easy, right. Spot, you're, you can't be silly like that though, at lambing, or this won't work. You need to stop when you need to stop. Right. I know fine well if I go in there, the wild one on the right's gonna go through this gate, but let's go get the, let's go get the, the buggy. I need, need to get to this other problem. Potential dead sheep. Good dog, Spot, good dog. You need to listen. Don't start getting silly. Oh, did I lift this aborted lamb? Didn't even bring gloves with me. It is the kind of thing that, you know, it's premature, but it is the kind of thing that would, uh, I mean, it's not a million miles away, they're only two and a bit of weeks away from lambing, but that's why you don't want pregnant ladies involved, but 
I'll have a good wash down before I go home, don't worry. The other thing is, Lizzie's quite, I'm not saying it matters, because Lizzie will be away from the sheep, but she's very far on in pregnancy. Look, I think that reduces the danger, but that's not the point. I, I am in not in a great setup here. I could have made this a lot easier for myself if I just went up the top, like I said. Oh, could be worse. I mean, look. Plan is just to catch her down this corner, but the wild one might try and bust the gate. I just want you to walk steady, girls. I want you to walk slowly. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just catch you up here. There we go. There we go. There we go. She's in, I mean, she's in, she's in absolutely fine condition. I think we start thinking it's just one of those things. Right, steady, girl. She has a gimmer. So a gimmer with triplets. Oh, why'd I do that? I didn't need to untie that. In you go. Your lamb's in there. Okay. That's that job done. Let's tie this gate back open. Better keep moving. More problems to deal with. We'll get this girl home. Okay, this is my temporary shed just now. We'll pop this girl in here. Lie down spot. Come on, last lie down, lie down. Up you go. Okay, so I can see the sheep lying down the bottom. We're just going to go and see her, but she's she's definitely dead. So there's nothing to worry about there. Thankfully, there's only one touch wood. We'll, we'll get right around the rest of this here, but there's only one. This is a huge area again. There's 60 sheep here, but they run about 100 acres. Like it's massive, massive scope. And it's actually really good, this bit, because I say really good. Uh, the, farmer's quite, the farmer wants 60 sheep, which actually works out great for me because the sheep have so much scope, they're always so fit. So it works out well that way, but we're still going to come and lift the triplets. That this morning's gave me a little fright, but anyway, this sheep's dead. Let's go and have a look, see if we can work out what's happened. Yeah, dead sheep, eyes pecked out, back end pecked out by crows, as you'd expect. No obvious signs, she's not been stuck in her back. Um, she's just at an awkward she was an awkward wee spot here, it's good I suppose that she's she's away from the road, but yeah, I think again, rough night of weather, I don't know, I don't know, you could argue you should be post-mortem her, I will, will I open her up and check for fluke, I don't think I will. I I think we are, we are touch wood, and I really mean this. We haven't had a dead animal since the last one you saw, which was way back before scanning. You know, that was two months ago plus. But we haven't heptivac, and, and it could just be that we're getting punished with some of these through that. Might be just speculating, but like a one-off like that, when the rest look fitting well, you, you almost put it down to that sheep, that's farming, there's livestock, there's dead stock. But it always worries you a little bit, but I'm not gonna post more more. Mainly because it's such a big job to run away up to Glasgow and a one-off isn't panicking me. Oh no, can he? I don't have my truck, it's in for an MOT. Oh well, that's, that's, that's that decided. Right, we will go and put some lick buckets out now. The rest of the girls look fine. Some of our other girls looking well. No triplets in here. Couple of nodders at the back. How are you girls? Oh well, oh well. You look good, that's the main thing, you look good.
Okay, so now I've had a little fright, we've decided let's get all the triplets home. So that's what we're doing just now. And I'm also listening to Ben from Doscoin Farms podcast, and you can watch it on YouTube if you'd like. Fed by Farmers podcast, have a look. Lizzie's coming as well, you'll like that. And Jock, and Angus, and the team. Lizzie, how are you today? Oh, she went, Lizzie had her uh, eyebrows done. You've... Yeah, they're fine now. Oh, they look great. Yeah. I, bet, I, I thought that's why you're being all shy. No, no, no. But they, they look beautiful. They look beautiful. I keep winding her up asking her every time she looks. I go, why are you so angry? Um, yeah, bad start to the day today. Aye, now Jock's woken up. Oh, I was joking a nap? Okay, well. Yeah, okay. That's why you're, are you annoyed? Yes, a little bit. Oh, <laughs> sad. Oh, she needs a wee as well. That doesn't help when you're pregnant and farming. But Lizzie is very good at finding a place to wee. Right, let's have a look, closer look at these girls. You see how dirty they are below? How wet and mucky they are? A bit weather beaten. I mean, it was a particularly bad night last night. So they're definitely a little bit weather beaten, but, but yeah, panic's on a bit. Let's get the triplets home. Not panic. It's not panic, actually. It's just, we need to do it anyway, so let's get it done. Gives us something to do, eh? Who's this? Daddy, here. Yeah. What's that? Daddy. Are we going to uh, pull the triplets out? Yeah. Triplets? Find the rammies? Yeah. And the big rams? Yeah. Oh, Jock's only been down for 30 minutes, so we'll crab it later. Or maybe crab it now. Uh, the girl that was popped in here this morning, we have found a. Well, I actually already had a farmer who'd asked me if I knew of a sheep with milk for a pedigree lamb that he had. So. Rather than me being out of sync, not really set up for lambing yet, trying to put two lambs on her and keep on a pen and do all that faff, uh, I have sold her to him. You getting scared, Jock? You get scared, eh? Yeah. Whoa! That's okay, Dad's here to protect you. Thankfully, Mum's got a couple of gates for us here as well. Jock, are you all emotional because you only had a small nap? Yeah. He says, yeah. Put that there, but you can't open this gate now. That was stupid. Try again. Chuck's absolutely wild. You come to help Dad? Come on, don't make yourself a lot of <laughs> Lizzie's going down the back for a pee. Because she's too shy to ask at the house. <laughs> Chuck, I can't do this and hold you. I can't do the gate. I can't do it. Can you pull the gate? Yes. I don't know if you're strong enough to pull the gate. Yeah. Pull it. Oh no. Jock, you'll get whacked in here. You, you can't stand in here. Okay, girls. Let's do this nice and steady and slow. And they're fit, fit as hell. What's this trip look like? Great condition, so I'm not worried that regard. But... Come on, this way. Yep. So that's an empty and a triplet away there. There was one empty, one empty here, so. Although we sold some in the last video. Do you like the sheep? Do you like the sheep? Ouch. <laughs> One more lot. Yeah, there's just two to run up, Lizzie. Here they come. Here they come. Good girls. There we go. Triplets and tups loaded. And then we've got the same again to do. We have had the both of you. Let's go. I only like to put a little bit in it because then it's less weight on the ground. Well, that's my theory. 
Hey, Spot. Oh, good dog. Come on. If you're going to jump, then jump proper. Come on. Hurry, Spot. Hop. Jump for it. Good dog. Lizzie on the bank, counting the drops, because we still don't have the digital snacker added. Okay, we've came across another problem. There's a sheep here with a dead lamb. Triplet again. So, strange because we've not had a single issue before now. Two in the one night, plus that dead sheep. I mean, it was a bad night. I mean, the wind was battering the window last night. It was horrible, horrible weather. Well, that's just caused this. I can't really think of any other reason. And the difference with this sheep that's standing over here is that she's getting fed every day. Yeah, so every day she's getting a bite. When I, you know, I was saying that maybe it was because she the other one wasn't getting fed, even though she was in great condition. Here's one being fed, and has thrown a. But again, there's only one lamb there. I don't know. At the moment, yeah, I think there's something more inside. Well, her. she did have afterbirth, so I don't know. If, and now that's gone, I can't see it. So. I mean, she's pod. She's pod. Pod back and forth with that wee lamb all night. Well, she's one of our oldest shoes. Well, she's got purple yellow. Yep. I mean, she isn't the oldest one, but. The old. oldest? She shouldn't be in the oldest now. Yeah, well, they are. So, again, the last one was a gimmer. Mm -hmm. This one's one of our oldest shoes who we know. I mean, she's lambed every year or else she wouldn't be here. This will be her fifth lambing. Good big yow. No need for that. Right, yeah, that's oh, I'll be enough. I would doubt if there's anything alive. I mean, it looks like not a bad size lamb. Joe, you better do the camera, Lizzie, because you can't do anything else. Yeah. Lizzie was just saying it, it, I should park the bike at an angle here, but this fence is so flimsy. I'm frightened that if I block the sheep off, she uh, yeah, I'd rather she ran out into the field than destroyed the fence. Lizzie's putting gloves on, but she better not be thinking she's touching something because she's not. Don't be pissing about with the lamb. Well, I did that. If I just took the yeah, yeah, that's fine. As long as you're thinking that way. I know what you like. Well, I've seen the video. I just not think it was one. Now, because we are obviously hernied up, I know. I've got myself one of these. I'll try it. Ah, oh, I was thinking I could get her over here, but she's just going to get stressed. I do spot. This is his first. Well, he did a kind of one on one this morning, but he wouldn't stop when I told him to. Come by. I see what he's like one on one here when they use putting the foot down. See? Yeah. Oh, I think she won't be hard to catch because she's a bit older. You're here. Aye, maybe not like a one on one. Aye, doesn't like it. Away. Then she's just going to look. Stand. Stand. Face her up. She's going to run over the top of you, Spot. Shh, shh. Here, here. Here, here. Spot here. Walk up. Here. Stand. Oh, I never brought one of the gloves over. Stand. Okay, so that was Spots that first one on one trying to catch a sheep. He's not a gripper, you know, he wouldn't have a bite at the sheep. And I was told that, you know, Neil that I got him from did tell me that. He wasn't, you know, he uh, wasn't as strong as he particularly likes in a dog in that regard. You've got to keep giving him a chance and trying him. Lambing time, I would say it's going to be Meg for most of lambing. I basically just outran her myself. He just wasn't doing the job. Again, condition-wise, she's okay. She's an older you. Um, great set of gnashers on her. Great set of gnashers. That's where I've still got her. Tremendous. I mean, you see the milk here, does he? I mean, she's oceans of milk. Oceans of milk. Which is a good sign. Uh, she's maybe got something left to pass there, but... Uh, I don't think it's it. Again, see the fact it's a totally different sheep from a different place. They haven't been together, yeah, and it's just the fact it's happened the same night. It, it, it makes me think the weather again. Um, I think she's passed whatever she's got to pass. Lambing is like this, you know, sheep farming, calving, whatever. You get problems at the start, you get problems at the end, and you get a load of problems in the middle as well. <laughs> but if you think about it, the only thing you can have at this stage is problems because they're two weeks premature. So if anything happens now, it's a disaster. So unfortunate. And she definitely knows how to eat. She's one of our old school girls. So she has been eating. Right. Um, if you get that from me, Lizzie, I'll pop her in. Be beautiful, uh, beautiful wee tight bag on her. Hmm, 
for a triplet, they sometimes go a little bit early anyway, don't they? Yeah, triplets can go early, yeah. But again, you would hope. You'd hope because we don't have the hassle of, you know, we haven't had her in for a rough and tumble heptivac that sometimes throws lambs. She's not been moved into a shed. She hasn't been moved anywhere, really, other than wander across this field the other day. Okay, I thought it would be better just to put in this vlog what happened with the post-mortems. They were both clear, no issues, nothing found to worry about. So literally just a case of probably the weather, like we said. And it makes sense because the sheep had no relation, didn't see each other. One was fed, one wasn't. It's just one of those horrible nights and a couple of them have thrown lambs. So that's good. One less thing to worry about. On to the next one. Lambing vlogs will start very, very soon this this week coming, we'll be on to daily vlogs. <sighs> what I thought. Cheers, folks.